greatest Reacted to the old and reacted to the latest Every single genre that's Birdman's taste Everybody's welcome here in Birdman's place yeah. Who was shaking back? Birdman here, welcome to my place As always, thank you for stopping on in Ladies and gentlemen, you have tuned in to yet another reaction slash review video and we're gonna dig right in but first things first i'm gonna need you to do something for me follow me on twitch.com slash birdman's place for all of my live streams they're the lifeblood of this channel they're a marathon and we have a blast secondly ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna need you to go ahead and relax take your shoes off kick your feet up and enjoy because we gonna have some fun today but we're not Definitely not. Um, I'm scared of this song. Legitimately scared as an empath. Um, I'm terrified about how this song is going to make me feel, how this song is going to make me react. So, for those who are unaware, recently, I don't know the exact how long ago it was, um, Aaron Carter passed away singer uh, he had a lot of demons and um, he died from drowning uh, drug use was a factor and it was horribly 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 sad uh, several months ago his brother Nick released a song about Aaron called Hurts to Love You I've not heard it know nothing about it but he has a music video and I am terrified right now to react to this this is requested by one of my premium flocksters Kayla this is her monthly request for April and um, I am so glad she requested this because I knew nothing about it and I really want to hear it but at the same time I'm terrified so uh, at this point Ladies and gentlemen, there's really only one thing left to do. Freddy, I'm going to need them headphones, bud. I'm sorry. This ain't about you. It ain't Freddy's place. It's Birdman's place. <sighs> ha! Let's get it. Hmm. Feel like we've been through some more together. Yeah. Nobody else could understand. Mm. Way too many nightmares to remember. But that was real life back then. Always hoped you tomorrow would be better than the day. Oh, I always hoped your tomorrow would be better than the days before. So he was always hoping that every day he'd get better and better and better. God dang. Can you imagine? Now, I, I wrote a song about my dad after he passed. I wrote a couple songs about my dad after he passed, because as somebody who wrote songs, it was a way for me to get my feelings and emotions out. So I know the pain that it takes to do this. My father had a terminal illness and was 63 when he passed away. Aaron was young, way too young. And it's just so sad. I can't imagine writing that about your... Ugh, let's keep going. I hoped you'd find your road to follow mm. To a place you were happy in this world Cause it hurts to love you but I love you still mm. Miss you with all my heart you know I'll always will Oh. I always prayed for peace. 
this and now your soul could feel You know it hurts to love you but I love you still Gosh It hurts to love you, but I love you still. That's 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 what family is. It's hard to let go of the anger. Yeah. I know for me it took some time. And that's just it right there, the anger, but like different people experience this differently. Some are angry at the person, some are angry at God for taking them. You know, there, there's so many different forms of anger when someone passes away. And it it, it just sucks, y'all. It sucks when you lose someone so close to you. Um, my dad was my hero. And it just hurts so much when he when he it was his time to go. Cause I didn't feel like it was his time to go. And obviously Nick felt the same about Aaron with, with good reason because it wasn't Aaron's time to go. At least we didn't feel that way. I mean, God decides when it's your time, but still. Feels like the light won't never shine. Always Feel that to find you road to follow to a place you were happy in this world. Cause it hurts to love you, but I love you still. Miss you with God. my heart, you know, I'll always will. And you know, I'm watching this, and it's making me think a lot of. My favorite artist, Randall King's video, Around Forever, where he's sitting there watching the home videos of his sister who passed away. His sister was 32, I think, when she passed away. Of course, it wasn't anything close to the same. She passed away due to complications from a surgery, but sitting there and watching these videos of when they were younger, knowing they're gone, it just, ugh. just it's hard i can't even imagine it's so hard like i don't have a lot of videos of my dad i've got one on my phone from the last christmas before he passed away and every now and then i'll just watch it and it's just like a real short video where you see him and i've got pictures but videos are different and um it gets me every time And I know, I know that Nick, while doing this, is trying so hard not to cry and trying so hard not to break down. But I feel like he should have. I feel like he should have just let it go. He should have just let everything pour out, let all the emotion pour out and show, man, this is, this was my brother. This was my, this was, this was my skin and bones. This was my blood. Some of the people in the flock here, I was angry at God for having my mom leave me at 17. Now I'm thankful. I was mad at myself for being so hard at my dad on my dad for the choices he made before he died. <clears throat> I don't have videos, but I have pictures all over of my mom and I still go to her Facebook profile and browse all that she had said. Yeah. I mean, it gives you that feeling that they're still here with you. 
Let's keep going. Wow. Powerful, emotional, uh, beautiful, strong. So many words come to mind with this song. Um, but the one that comes to mind the most is tribute. Um, a great tribute to his little brother or his brother. I don't, I don't know if I think Aaron was younger. I'm not sure, but, um, It's just so hard when you lose someone that close to you. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to feel. You you don't know what you're expo what you're supposed to do. But um It's like part of you is gone. Like part of you has been taken from you. It's the only way I can describe it. You're not you'll never be the same. You're not the same and you never will be. And you just have to get used to that. It's hard. It's hard. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Follow me on social media. My links are right down here. If you'd like to be a member of the flock on Patreon, get some exclusive content, videos you won't see on the channel, videos YouTube doesn't want you to see that they block. Those are on there. You can get early access to my videos. You can get your request shot up the list faster. You can get 10% off of merchandise. You can be there for Turn It Up Tuesdays. We have a lot of fun. Movie nights, comedy nights, wrestling nights, video Q&As with artists, video Q&As with other YouTubers. It's an absolute blast. I film all my reactions live with the flock, as you found out. We have a lot of fun. Come check it out. Information up here. Link in the description below. Like, share, subscribe. Pass me around. Let's grow the Birdman fam. Birdman fam flock. I love you guys. I mean it. I'm going to see you on the next one. All right. Much love. Peace. Oh, I shake it back. Birdman here. If you like this video, go ahead and become a member of the Birdman fam by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, make sure to watch the videos on this screen as well as the playlist I put together. You can also become a member of the flock, get some behind the scenes fun, early access, and your request shot up the list faster. Check that out as well. Birdman fam flock, I love you guys. I'm going to see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.